Look at all of these amazing animals. We have a giraffe with a long neck that reaches the top of the trees, a chameleon that changes colors instantly, and a polar bear perfectly suited for the Arctic. Have you ever wondered why animals have these incredible features? Welcome to Seismic. I'm Matt, and we're going to unlock one of nature's most fascinating secrets, natural selection. By the end of this video, you'll understand how animals get their amazing adaptations and why Charles Darwin's discoveries changed science forever. So grab your science notebook, let's dive in. Natural selection is nature's way of choosing which animals are most likely to survive and have babies. Sometimes you'll hear your teacher refer to this as reproducing. Think of it like this. Imagine you're in a video game where only the characters with the best skills make it to the next level. Those that don't aren't going to pass on to that next level. So in this case, those that have the best skills or characteristics, or in this case, adaptations, are going to go on and reproduce and survive. In nature, animals are born with different traits. Some might be faster, some might blend in better than with their surroundings, and some might be better at finding food. These differences aren't by choice. They're completely random. But here's where it gets interesting. When danger comes along, which animals do you think are more likely to survive? The fast ones? The ones that can hide? Well, you're absolutely right. And here's the key. Animals that survive are more likely to have babies. Those babies or offspring often inherit their parents' helpful traits. Over many, many generations, more and more animals in the population will have these helpful traits. But wait, where did these different traits come from in the first place? The answer is genetic variation. Just like you might have your mom's eyes and your dad's height, baby animals get a mix of traits from their parents. Sometimes, completely new traits appear due to random changes in DNA called mutations. Most of these changes don't help or hurt the animal, they're just different. But occasionally, one of these random changes gives an animal a survival advantage. And that's where natural selection kicks in. Animals with helpful traits survive better, have more babies, and pass those traits on. Over time, we're talking thousands of years, these helpful traits become more and more common in the population. Let me show you natural selection in action with one of the most famous examples, peppered moths in England. Before the 1800s, most peppered moths were light colored because they could hide perfectly on light colored tree bark. Dark moths were rare because birds could easily spot and eat them. But then the industrial revolution happened and pollution made the tree bark much darker. Suddenly, the light moths stood out like a sore thumb. Birds started catching way more light-colored moths because they were super easy to see, but the few dark-colored moths? They were now perfectly camouflaged. Within just 50 years, the dark moths went from being rare to making up 98% of the population in industrial areas. The environment changed, and natural selection favored different traits. And here's the amazing part. As pollution decreased in recent decades, light-colored moths are becoming common again. Natural selection is always happening, always adapting populations to their environment. Let's make sure you've got the big ideas. Natural selection has four key ingredients. First, variation. Animals in a population have different traits. Second, inheritance. Traits can be passed from parents to offspring. Third, selection. Some traits help animals survive better than others. Fourth, time. Changes happen gradually over many, many generations. Remember, animals don't choose to evolve. It's not like a giraffe decided to grow a longer neck. This isn't Pokemon. Instead, giraffes with slightly longer necks could reach more food survived better, and had more babies. Over millions of years, this led to the amazing long-necked giraffes that we have come to know and see today. Natural selection explains the incredible diversity of life on Earth. From the tiniest bacteria to the largest of whales, 
every living thing has been shaped by this process. You're now part of a long tradition of scientists who study and understand evolution. Who knows, maybe you'll be the one to make the next big discovery about how life adapts and changes. Want to dive deeper into evolution and natural selection? Check out one of our following videos. Want to elevate and shake up your science class? Check out some of these resources below. Now don't forget to subscribe for more amazing science videos and let us know down in the comments what animal adaptation amazes you the most.